Hey guys, it's me, Ruby Collins, and I wanted to share this with you today. It's about wheat, whole wheat. Now, I thought wheat was supposed to be something that was healthy for you. Obviously, it is not. Obviously, obviously, it is not. And I am like, maybe that could be the reason for these uh, thyroid nodules on my thyroid. All right, so here's the deal on wheat, whole wheat. There are six, what is it? Six potential problems with whole wheat. And there was another article um, that says wheat, 200 clinically confirmed reasons not to eat it. I should actually read you this article, but I don't really understand this article too much, but I do understand that it's not good for you. It's not healthy. And you know what? I'm going to read that. 200 clinically confirmed reasons not to eat. Eat it. Here's the first couple of paragraphs. With sales of food labeled gluten-free now reaching over $6 billion a year, something truly profound is happening to the way in which Americans are perceiving the role of wheat in their diets. Once celebrated as the very poster child of the health mo once oh once celebrated as the very poster child of the health food movement, folks are increasingly rejecting this king of grains and are now identifying it as being at the very root of their health problems. The very root of their health problems because I'm a healthy person. Why do I have an issue now with thyroid nodules? growing on my thyroids. And I eat healthy. I did consume a lot of bread. I consumed enormous amounts of whole wheat thinking that we're supposed to do whole wheat. My mom goes to this church every Sunday and they drop off loads and loads, hundreds and thousands of bread, loaves of bread, it's not hundreds of thousands, hundreds maybe of bread that, is, or that are distributed throughout the community. And my mom goes and picks it up so she can help distribute it to the nursing home and another church, local church in the community. And I go and help her pick it up every Sunday. What do I do? When I arrive there, I'm going through the breads. And I'm pulling out all the wheat bread. Oop, no, no white bread. Wheat bread, wheat bread, wheat bread. And I'm coming home with tons of lo you know, lo loaves of wheat bread. And shoving them in my freezer and having them at my leisure. And for the next week or two weeks, I'll have whole wheat bread with everything and everything because I have so much of it. Um, <clears throat> however, reading this article, it is not, uh, there's a problem. It's the root of our health problems. Detractors claim that the movement is just a fad or worse than those who have embarked upon it without officially diagnosis without an official diagnosis are a bit crazy. After all, simply feeling better following gluten elimination is not considered to be proof of anything within the conventional medical system. Biopsies, antibodies, and genetic tests later, if nothing is found and you still think gluten, this sacred omnipresent grain is a problem, you might just get referred to a physician. Now, see that paragraph right there? I don't really understand what I just read. But I'm going to have this article in the description box. You can read it at your leisure and understand. If you didn't understand it like I didn't and see what they're really talking about here. But I'm with it. You know, I've seen enough articles actually online talking about how whole wheat which is man-made, and led us to believe that it was something healthy for us to consume, um, is actually not. It's gluten, and gluten is the, is, is, stands for glue-like, glue-like. So it kind of uh, sticks to the intestines or the, the, jet, the jet digestive tract in which, um, you know what? I can't remember all the details, but I will. That's another article as well, but I'll find that and share that with you. Um, one of our many interests here at Green Med is to identify problem substances. 
which is why we have created an index by the name with 698 subjects listed, listed from A through Z. If you navigate to Wheat under WS, you will find a list um, under Advanced Topics with 205 health conditions and or adverse health affected uh, adverse health health effects associated with wheat consumption and let me read this again um, it says one of our many interests here at greenmedinfo.com is to identify problem substances which is why we have created an in, created an index by that name with 698 subjects listed from A through Z. If you navigate to the wheat under WS, you will find a list under advanced topics with 205 health conditions and or adverse health effects associated with wheat consumption all of which are determined solely through research in peer-reviewed and published medical journals indexed on Medline. You will also find below the listed diseases of pharmacological actions, fields which list 20 distinct ways in which wheat harms the body. Example, nerve damaging, immune damaging, and as a, when you have a thyroid condition, it's because your your immune system is not um, your immune system is not functioning the way that it's supposed to function. It's it's you know it's not functioning the way it should be. So autoimmune no it says actually immune damaging and inflammatory and etc. At present, the conventional medical establishment only identifies a handful of disorders likely to be caused by wheat consum consumption, such as wheat allergy, celiac disease, dermatitis, hepaphromatis, exercise, induced wheat aphylaxis. These conditions, however, are these conditions. Uh oh, these conditions. Let me just, hold on, hold on, let me get this, let me get this right. Okay, I found it. These conditions, however, are but the tip of a massive slactic iceberg. It is previously, in a previous essay, The Dark Side of Wheat. Oh my gosh, we have got to read that. I'm going to find that article and I'm going to read The Dark Side of Wheat because I have been eating wheat, everything, wheat pasta, I wonder if this whole grain is rice are the same. <coughs> okay, I must look that up because I've been eating brown rice. Is brown rice? No, I don't know. The dark side of wheat. We discussed the problem from a more philosoph uh, philosophical perspective. There is now, however, a huge data set, data set firmly establishing the likelihood that wheat intolerance, or better yet, wheat tox toxi toxicity, wheat toxicity, is a universal human species specific problem occurring only in differing degrees, and mostly subclinically, at least through the optic of conventional screening and technologies. One most one must also account for the invisible thorn which is wheat lectin, known more technically as wheat germ, algolutin, wheat germ. You think wheat germ is it? Is wheat germ the same? Because I have a bottle of wheat germ in my refrigerator right now. And which can cause a broad range of adverse health effects, even while being undetected through conventional screening. Okay, people, this is serious. This is very serious. Please read the article below. B below. And there's a quick summary. 205 associated diseases to wheat. And 
thyroid nodules is in the list. And that might explain, you know, why my body's going through what it's going through. All right, well, this is just to inform you all. I love you all. Give this video a thumbs up. If you like what you hear, the information, um, I will be sharing a lot more on health because that's where I'm at right now. I've always been here, but now I have to really be here.